Welcome back to the Summer Stitch Along. This is the study of texture afghan with my friends at yarnspirations.com as well as myself here at the Crochet Crowd. Well, I've just caught you playing a board game. Yes, put those X's and O's away because X does mark the spot, but we're not gonna be doing the O's. So what we're gonna be doing today is crisscross applesauce. We're gonna do this crossing in order to really make it work. This part of the afghan is actually a lot of, uh, it's actually quite a significant area. I really wanted the crisscross to really pop out in this particular afghan, so you're gonna have to pay attention. But once you get started with this concept, the, pretty much the whole section of this is really quite easy to be able to follow. So without further ado, let's head on into week number six. Let's go to the studio and let's do some crisscross applesauce. So this is lesson number six, the study of crisscross applesauce. We're gonna do lots of crisscrosses for several rounds as we continue then as we move. Now for those that are following the diagrams, we've already done round number 31 and now in this one we're gonna go from 32 to 42. So we got all this, these many rounds to do. Now you're going to notice that there's a gapping space in the chart here because there's a repeat pattern several times. So what we have is that we're going to start off with just a single crochet round which will repeat every other round up until we get to number 40 and then in the rounds in between them we're gonna do the crisscross. So it's just a matter of a repeat. So on the side here I put on a round number 34 had an X which was the crisscross and the 34 single crochet. 35 is an X, 36 single crochet, 37 is an X, 38 is single crochet, 39 is an X and then we can see 40 comes back into play with the single crochet. We're then going to just do a double crochet round and then back in the back post again as we come into 42. But this section here is going to take you some time and I'm going to show you how to get started and then I want you to do the repeat pattern and then meet me back up at the end of this video when you're ready to complete off these final two rounds. So without further ado let's move along to round number 32. So let's move along to number 32. So last time in last week we did the back post double crochet but we have two half double crochets to start. Remember the chain two never counts as anything so we'd have to ignore that. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna do only one single crochet in the corner. So when we're on the single crochet rounds it'll always just be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. But whenever we start a round it's just one single crochet. Skipping over this chain two that we're supposed to ignore we're just going to a single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. So you're just gonna do that now and then when you get to the first corner it'll be single crochet, chain two, single crochet and you'll keep on going. So I want you to complete this whole round with just single crochet and I will see you at the end of this round. This is number 32. So I'm doing single crochet to finish up this round. So when I was designing this afghan I wanted a large section that you could just sit back and relax and just do several rounds of it without having to think much. I also love when crisscross is uh, crisscrosses are put together with single crochet. I've done a vest like that way back in my past and it's kind of where I got my idea to do it in this part of there and I figured I had to do it in a square instead of just in rows. So that was kind of fun. So I'm coming back to where I had started and I wanna make sure I put one single crochet in the first space that we run into. Now we're gonna be repeating these single crochet rounds in between all the crisscross stuff. So one into the last one and then join to the first single crochet with a half double crochet join. So next row, row number 30, three is going to be the same as 35, 37 and 39. There's going to be four rows of crisscross and then in between those rows including after the row, uh, the final row, it's gonna be one single crochet in each and then you do your corners as what we just showed you. So let's uh, begin to show you how to do a crisscross. Let me zoom in and let's begin. To do the crisscross, you're gonna start off in each of the corners. The corners will always be the same. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So in this case, because this is the first one, we're gonna just start off with uh, three chains, just like that. And you're gonna double crochet one more time. So you're doing half the corner. So those have to be done already. So you cannot do any crisscross with that immediately off the hop. So what you're going to do is skip the next one and go to the second one over and you're going to crisscross, right? And then what you're going to do is just wrap the hook and come into the one you skipped and go backward. Okay, so you'll just collect it from the back side and you'll just double crochet. So it causes it to crisscross over top of each other. So let's do the next one. So you're gonna skip the next one, go to the second, you're gonna double crochet. Now you're gonna wrap the hook, just go and move this, the project forward and access the one you skipped and double crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way across. So skip the next one, 
double crochet in the second one over and then come back and do the one you skipped. And you're gonna do that all the way to the other side. Okay, all the way to the, where you get to the corner. So in the corner space you will put in two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and then start all over again to do the crisscross. And you're gonna do this all the way around. So what I want you to do is do this round, number 33 and then single crochet for 34. And then what I have for 35, 37 and 39 are all crisscross and the ones in between including the one after is all gonna be single crochet. It's really quite easy to be able to follow. So I'm gonna leave all that with you now and when I pick back up I'm gonna be on number 41 and uh, we'll start number 41 together. So just look at the instructions if you're confused and I also wrote those instructions as well. I'll bring that back just for a second. So off camera I've been doing extra homework and I've been getting these rounds done and I've got one crisscross two and I'm on my third. I just really want to show you, I was kind of feeling a little bit guilty about it but I wanna show you how to turn a corner just in case I know somebody's gonna email and said I wish you would've showed that. So all I'm doing is that I'm coming up to the end and the crisscrosses will take you right to the very end. Now if this is your very first time doing your crisscross across, the first time you should have 51 of these crisscrosses that happen. If you don't get 51, squeeze one in if, it, if you got one missing and if you got a 52, you gotta somehow eliminate it out. 51 is the magic number because it matters in clue number seven, week number seven. So make sure that you have your 51. So all you're just gonna do is go right to your final, what you do, and then you're just gonna put in your two double crochets in the corner and then two double crochets back in and then you restart again for doing your crisscrossing. So you don't crisscross any time on the corner like that. So you just skip the first one, second one over and begin to crisscross again. So it's a, actually not a hard idea to do in order to work it out. So I know some of you might be cheat, are thinking well it's cheating you know if I, I say well don't frog your work and try to make it work. You know that's the whole point of crochet is that your creativity uh, it really comes into a play if something's not working out in your favor. So uh, it's a really great opportunity and I hope that you can enjoy that. So please go around and I will see you. Make sure that you do four of these crisscrosses. So I've got uh, two and a half done so far and I'm gonna have four of those done plus I'm gonna do one round of single crochet and then that's where I'll pick you back up at that point. So in the instructions I wrote it easy for myself. So number 33 where we are right now is as a cross and then 34 single crochet, 35 as a cross, then 36 single crochet, 37 cross, 38 single crochet, 39 is a cross and you can see 40 here. It's a single crochet and when I come back we'll be at 41 to start and then we'll get you off in 42 to finish off this one. So you got a bit of time uh, ahead of you, some homework before you get on to next week but you'll find that this will really uh, punch an impact on your afghan and you'll love it at the same time. So let's continue along. You should have four crisscrosses and then you will have the single crochets that separate them and now we're ready for round number 41 and 42. So 41 is going back to what we already know from previous uh, weeks. It's just a regular double crochet so you're just gonna chain up three double crochet in the same one and double crochet in each and then in the corners two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Let's show you how to do that just in case you need to have a little reminder. So here's where we were at the start of this week's clue right here and we've done single crochets and crisscrosses. You will see that there's four crisscrosses followed by a single crochet after it. So now we're just gonna return back to a double crochet. So chain up three and double crochet into the same one. And all you're just going to do then is work your way across and just double crochet in each of the stitches. In the corners you will apply uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and you'll go all the way around like that. When you get all the way back then you'll just finish off with two double crochets in the spot and then do a half double crochet join like you've learned in weeks in the past. So please do that and I will see you uh, in the next round and we'll just do the final round together which is a back post double crochet which is what we've already done here in the past as well. So I'm coming up all the way around on the final double crochet round and I'm just putting my two double crochets in the final space and then just joining it with a half double crochet join. So let's do our final round for this week's of clues and this week's clues. So we're going to do back post double crochet like you had done before. It creates that ridge that we've seen before in the afghan and it then uh, finalizes this section. Chain up two doesn't count as anything. Don't forget that and then you're going to do two half double crochets in the same join or in the same space. So you're just gonna move around then each one of these 
are going to get a back post double crochet and then when you hit the next corner it will be two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochet and then finally you're going to get all the way back around it. Don't forget that you gotta finish off this section right here with two half double crochets with a half double crochet join. So I'm going to leave you here. That is this week's clues and I will see you next week. Next week is a really big week. It is the probably the most work that you'll have to do because it's the final uh, pretty much the kickoff and then the final one and week number eight is actually really quite a simple uh, simple thing to do and then you get this stuff all done. So this is uh, uh, it for this week's clues. We'll see you next week. So that's it for week number six, crisscross applesauce. Get that homework done and we'll see you next week. We're gonna create a new study next week of the summary picnic baskets. Hmm, <laughs> isn't this the strangest thing ever? Well, you have to join me next week. It's Mikey on behalf of Yarnspirations.com as well as ourselves here at the Crochet Crowd. We'll see you and we're almost done. So stay tuned next week. <laughs>